Please welcome Ola Kalenios, member of the Board of Management of Daimler AG, responsible for group research in Mercedes-Benz cars development. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, a happy new year to all of you. I have to say I am extremely happy today. Last night I was in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta and I watched the Crimson Tide struggle in the first half of the game, fight their way back in the second half and win the national championship with an incredible 41-yard touchdown in overtime. I still can't stop smiling. Why am I saying this? It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience to see your favorite team right in our backyard where we have our plant in Alabama achieve such a victory. There's only one team I love more, obviously, Mercedes-Benz. And now we celebrate an amazing achievement as well. We intend to revolutionize the way you interact with cars. For example, I've had some of my best conversations in a car, but so far, talking to a car tends to feel like this. We will change that today. This year, what happens in Las Vegas won't stay in Las Vegas. Before we come to that, let me give you some background on what's going on at our company right now. First of all, we started this year with some great news. Yesterday, we published our full year numbers for 2017, and it turned out to be our seventh record year in a row. We remain the most successful premium car brand worldwide. All in all, we delivered about 2.3 million Mercedes-Benz cars to customers around the globe, and nearly 340,000 of them went to the US, allowing us to remain the number one luxury brand here as well. We will build on this success to drive the greatest change our industry has ever seen. It's all about the fusion of four megatrends that we label with the acronym CASE. In other words, we are creating an intelligent, holistic approach to mobility. The hearts of our vehicles used to be drivetrains. In the future, it will be their hard drives. But that doesn't mean Mercedes cars get less personal. On the contrary, our customers will enjoy more personal experiences with our brand than ever before. Since digitalization brings great benefits to them, we can make sure our products adapt to their requirements in every detail. We call this human-centered innovation. It's obvious that we couldn't possibly find the perfect algorithm to describe every Mercedes driver. Instead, we increasingly turn to deep learning and artificial intelligence. Here's a great example in the context of autonomous driving. We sent a just slightly modified, but basically standard S-Class around the world to gather traffic data on five continents while driving partly automated. A field trip for a car, if you like. Traffic in different countries obviously present different challenges for self-driving cars. For instance, what a pedestrian crossing is in Europe might indicate the minimum distance between vehicles in China. Here in the US, people frequently overtake on the right, whether it's allowed or not. Wouldn't necessarily work in Germany, but works here. And in Australia, there are maneuvers you don't see in Europe, like the typical Melbourne hook turn, in which you move to the left in order to make a right-hand turn. Our S-Class just wrapped up its world tour right here in Las Vegas yesterday. And it gathered a great deal of experience. Have a look.
Ladies and gentlemen, the S-Class Intelligent Worldwide. Now, deep learning is not only useful to understand the patterns of various traffic situations. It also helps us to better understand you. In this respect, we have some major news for you today. Our new Mercedes-Benz user experience, in short, MBUX. This has nothing to do with incremental improvements we've gotten used to in regards to interaction with our cars. We consider this to be a revolution. To start, MBUX offers the best graphics and performance. We also gave MBUX various modes of intuitive control. One key element is the use of natural language. It allows for the best conversation you've ever had with a car. Simply say, hey Mercedes, and it will respond to you. Let's hear more from my colleagues who developed and created this unique experience. Hey Mercedes, please call my favorite designer. Calling Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Um, hey Mercedes, please call my favorite car designer. Calling Gordon Wagner. Hi Ola, I'll be there any minute. Could you just play the video please? You know what they always say, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? Okay, let's have a look.